to my home. My name is Lisa. I'm a DIYer. I decided to um, update my kitchen. I wanted a farmhouse look, so I decided to uh, paint over my honey oak cabinets. Come in here and take a look. I've got the 1992 cabinetry that came with my home. So last night I did the dolphin fin gray over here, and then I did the um, creek bend gray down here in the lower so that we can get a contrast. Now today I've got the honey oak. I'm going to go ahead and do the dolphin fin, make it a two-tone kitchen. One of the best things I can teach you to do is label your cabinets so you don't lose them. I've got them labeled and it's this easy to take off my particular cabinetry. It's just a couple of um, things that we need to do. We need to pin up our hair and get it out of the way. I've got some deglossing to do. I like to put on my safety glasses just in case you never know what's going to happen. When I remove my hardware, okay, so I did go ahead and get all the hardware off of my cabinetry, and here's a trick. You know the little bumpers? They need to come off. You can't get a good coating with any of the sticky stuff still on here. Now I've laid out all my equipment here so that we can get this project done in a pretty easy and timely manner. I've got my label and I put it right in front of the cabinet that I'm working on, this particular piece. I also have liquid deglosser and I use a mask. This is a dust mask, but it helps when you're doing a project like this. It helps to filter out some of the particles in the air and things like that. It's, it's appropriate to have on. I have gloves. I have scrubbing pads and I've got liquid deglosser that I used on a previous project. I also am a fan of the Wooster Pro brushes. This Pro Pack, it was like 20 bucks at, you know, one of the hardware stores. And these brushes are amazing. This is my trim brush. This is my cutting in brush for the tight little areas. And this is my basic large piece of wood brush. I also have my little small one for inside when I have to bend all the way down at the cabinet to go ahead and get at the bottom of it. I also, today we're using this bare paint. This stuff is fantastic. I'm just telling you, I've done projects before. This is a two coat, what done, just done. This stuff covers, it uh, self levels on the paint. It fills in the little brush strokes. It's really nice paint. The color we're using, again, it's the Dolphin Fin. It's a bare premium cabinet and trim enamel paint. This stuff's magic. I also want to remind you to get a sanding block. You don't need a heavy duty one, but like a 180 grit is just right for this type of project. I've got a little paint container and then I've got my paint can opener. I've got a fresh stir stick and I have a towel for wiping off. When I deglaze this, you, you have to rinse this product with a damp towel and then I go over it with my sanding. So we'll get to that in a minute. Thanks. I went ahead and prepped my surface with the deglosser. I wiped it down with a, a damp towel, then I dried it. Next, it needs a little sanding because I can still see some of the spaces where the oil in my kitchen um, kind of embedded. So I'm gonna just sand it with the grain, a light sand. Not a lot. So it's just a real light sand on here. I'll show you like this. And then you have to wipe it down with a towel. I have some old rags that I saved for projects. And again, I have this on my little makeshift space. Now the inside of my cabinet doesn't need much. The deglosser really took care of that, but the outer edges have a lot more oil on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I get my paint ready. 
I've got my dry container. I've done a few projects. And I've got my opener. I'm not a professional, people, so I don't do this like a special way. It's pretty simple. When you buy paint, they give you this little key. You just use it. A must is having these little stir sticks. It's a must. A clean one each time you need it. There's also some tricks to this. It has a ruler on it if you ever need some help with that, like measuring something. It has a little ruler. They're free. They come with your paint key. And then I just pour in my paint. And I don't pour too much at a time because I want to be able to um, really utilize this. So remember I said I don't skip on my brushes. This stuff, I got the Wooster Pro brush and I like to clean off my paint can. And I'm setting it here on my workbench. It's plastic, It's I reuse it, I do a lot of projects. And how I do this, so remember I said this is a self-leveling paint. I go ahead, get right in the corners. Look at this. See how beautiful it gets right in there and it levels. It's just already leveling. My brush strokes will clear off in just a moment. This stuff is fantastic. I recommend it. And do the inside of your cabinets. Don't skip that step. And if you notice, I'm painting the insides first. The reason is twofold. One, I only need one coat on the inside. Nobody's gonna look on the inside of my cabinet and say, oh, it's not a perfect job. And two, it gives me a little time to practice my, my brush strokes. Clearly I'm left-handed and I have to, you know, get like a little method, but see how nice my, um, my brush strokes are. And this paint just gets right in there. It levels, look, it already starts filling up its space. It's a little cool out today. If it were a tiny bit warmer, this paint would dry really fast. This stuff dries, it says in an hour, but I had it dry yesterday like 20 minutes. You don't want to uh, mess with it too much when it's not all the way dry. So you don't want to put your hardware on until it's actually dry. But you can see how easy and quick this method is. I mean, literally I've been doing it, what, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. And I just get my little brush strokes going and I try to make it kind of a nice, even stroke all the way across. I'm not gonna worry too much. Again, this is the inside, but you see how I flipped my brush over. I have the slanted edge goes into the corner for me, and then I'll turn it around and use both sides of my brush. I think it needs a little more in the middle, so I'm gonna go ahead and go like this. There, the middle's done took me all that long. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the rest of these. And then when it's time to tape it off, I'll go ahead and make another little segment for you. Thanks. Okay, so we went ahead and let this side dry. We're going to go ahead and start on the second side. Now the outside of the cabinet, I'm painting second. Remember, we talked about the inside being our practice. So I'm going to go ahead and paint two coats on the outside. I'll see you in a few. Okay, so I'm ready to install. As you can see, I let it all dry. I just want to remind you that I bought new hinges. These are the exact same hinges I had prior. All I did was buy new ones. So they're really easy to go ahead and install. I just swapped out my old bronze ones and then uh, just gonna tighten my cabinet. I already pre-leveled it so that I could be sure it looks nice. There's that. This is how the kitchen looks after. One thing I wanna tell you about is do not skimp on tape. Buy the good stuff. This frog tape, it gets right in the corners. I could paint, you see how clean my lines are? The stuff is worth the extra splurge, okay? This is really good. And I just wanna say thank you to all of you who have uh, looked into our video. You know, this is a two day project. You could take a little longer if you want. We were fortunate to have a little sunshine to help us dry out, but again, this is the dolphin fin gray. It's the bare paint and it's specifically for cabinets and trim. I love the color. I was going for a, a modern farmhouse look. We did a two-tone with the bottom, the uh, 
Creek Bend gray. And then we just went ahead and finished it off with the dolphin fin. So I just want to say thank you so much. Like my channel, subscribe for more projects. This is Lisa. Thank you so much.